He is on a yellow card very early in a big championship game to have a yellow over your head, so he has to watch himself for the rest of the game. And up comes Fenton Gould. He had a goal and two points here last weekend against Down. That's his first of the day. Cork ease into a five-point lead. And to be honest, Paul, they're exactly where they wanted to be after uh, some 14 minutes. Absolutely, but it's the dominance around the middle of the field that's really allowing them to to push players forward, push the half-back line forward as they've done so effectively in many, many games over the last couple of years and again today. Cork cleaning up on breaking ball in this first quarter of an hour and again they win possession from the Mayo kick-out. This is Owen Cadigan driving down the field. Trevor Mortimer is the nearest Mayo player to him. Once more there's just one man to aim at in on the edge of the square. They go short. This is Finton Gould. Richie Feeney slipped. Goal on here for Cork perhaps. Kerrigan's gone for it and it's blocked away for a 45 by Keith Higgins. Well, they are certainly in sniffing for goals. Hit two last Saturday night. And there's a second one threatening here. Yeah, fantastic that block there by uh, Keith Higgins. Going the opposite direction. Had to turn very, very quickly, get his hands down. Did tremendously well. But I think Mayo have got to commit more players <clears throat> to the breaking ball around the middle of the field. Whenever it breaks, Cork are attacking the breaking ball at pace and winning the Mayo are standing still around that position, around that area. They've got to commit two or three more players, or certainly a couple of more players in there. Uh, stifle Cork, stop their ability to make those surges forward. Last time these teams met at Crow Park was the league final last year. Donico O'Connor hit five points in that match. And that is 1-2 in this All-Ireland quarter-final. Really is on top of his game uh, recently, Donico O'Connor. And Cork now six points in front. No surprise to see the Mayo selector James Nallon in there just having a quick word with the goalkeeper Robert Henley. Mayo in dire need of mixing up their kickouts as Aidan Walsh smashes that ball back but only as far as Donal Vaughan and down the line with it goes Seamus O'Shea Owen Cadigan was fouling Killian O'Connor and it'll be a free from where the ball landed Cork of course overwhelming favourites to win this match on the back of their very impressive performance here last Saturday night. Slight concern for them maybe the sight of uh, Dunnick O'Connor receiving some attention at the moment as Killian O'Connor at the other end tries to steady himself. Mayo need everything they can get in this first half and O'Connor makes no mistake, that's his second point. Just keeps that scoreboard ticking over. And as we said in the Connacht final so many times, Paul, for a young player showing a tremendous composure on the big stage. Absolutely, and uh, former minor here played all our minor finals here and did very, very well. Uh, took responsibility in the Connacht final. What will be pleasing to Mayo and positive for them is that they, when they do win ball in midfield, they're obviously <coughs> kicking directly into the full forward line and they're winning the ball out in front. Kevin McLaughlin, first chance for the wing forward from Knock Moore to have a run at goal. Meets Owen Cadigan though, dispossessed very easily and back goes John Miskela to take care of the housekeeping and get it out initially as far as Cotter and now Michael Shields but for a moment there Mayo threatening with the sheer physical strength of Owen Cadigan bringing that move to an end Cork very casual with this but eventually get it out as far as Owen Cotter Noel O'Leary again he breaks from right half back looking full of energy and running in this first half so far. O'Connor is the target man. And that ball last touched. The cork full forward. Yeah, here... <clears throat> Here's what Mayo cannot afford to do, is solo the ball into the tackle. The Cork team are physically very, very strong in defence. They've got to offload before they commit the, the player to the tackle, as we saw on that occasion. Kevin McLaughlin trying to go back, go by a player, easily dispossessed, allow Cork to counter-attack. Well, the linesman on this uh, near side, Morris Condon from Waterford, took a, a moment to make up his mind on that call. Rory Hickey eventually uh, stepped in to give him his support. And Dunnock O'Connor drills it in. Cleared away by Seamus O'Shea and now Alan Dillon who's had a quiet game so far, the Mayo captain. This is Andy Moore. Does so much to set the pace and the tempo for this Mayo team. End of Varley outnumbered, 2-1. to one. 
and easy in the in the end again for Cork to win possession and to pick out any pass they want. O'Leary caught late by uh, Aidan O'Shea. O'Leary is uh, down and feeling the effects of that hit from the big Mayo midfielder. Well, certainly the ball had uh, gone when O'Shea stepped in. Yeah, of course, that may have been allowed a couple of years ago when you were allowed to shoulder the, the, the player who was in the art of kicking the, in the act of kicking the ball, but uh, not any longer, and uh, considered dangerous play by the referee. And he's given a yellow card to Aidan O'Shea. So Aidan O'Shea making his 10th championship appearance. He's been booked, court manager Conor Cunahan, as uh, he likes to do, sitting in the stand for some, if not all, of this match. Gets a slightly elevated view of uh, proceedings. And now watching Finton Gould standing over this free, sta deputising for the injured Daniel Goulding in terms of freeze. And that ball scrambled out over the line. It'll go down officially as Cork's second wide. <laughs> 20 minutes gone and still that Dunica O'Connor goal from a penalty. Leaping out from the scoreline. Three, one by Mayo, taken by Kevin McLaughlin. Looking to set to Andy Moran away. Moran, who has moved into the full forward line now. Did it to good effect against Ross Common in the Connacht final. This time he's trying to act as provider for Trevor Mortimer. Recycled back to Alan Dillon. Little jink to go past Cadigan. Here's McLaughlin. Chance of a score. And Kevin McLaughlin slots it up and over the bar. Much better for Mayo. That's their first point from play. Finished by McLaughlin and set up by Alan Dillon. And you mentioned, and rightly so, like that uh, Ross Common or Mayo alternated Andy Moore and uh, Alan Freeman a few minutes before the half time in the Connacht final and uh, worked very effectively. They got a couple of points uh, that were very, very important. They've done it again now. Andy Moore winning the ball, recycling it to Kevin McLaughlin at a fine point. Well, he's made the decision, I think, Rory Hickey, that the ball didn't go outside the 13-metre line and uh, the 20-metre line. Well, a hot ball and possession for a moment looked like it had been lost by Cork. Spilled in the tackle. Or even if that ball had hit the net, it wouldn't have counted. You can hear Rory Hickey's whistle blowing from up here. Uh, an untidy little piece of play there in front of the Cork goal. And Alan Cork wearing the look of a fairly relieved man. Well, the Mayo crowd, some of whom have already climbed the reek this morning on what is Reek Sunday, of course, trying to make themselves heard here at Crow Park as their team enjoy some territorial dominance. McLaughlin, he's gone right through. Kevin McLaughlin, oh, what a goal! What a time to score your first championship goal. Kevin McLaughlin cutting a hole right through the heart of the Cork defence and didn't he do well? Oh, fantastic run from McLaughlin, a great catch in the middle from Aidan O'Shea. Knocked it to McLaughlin, he had only one thing on his mind, went directly at the Cork defence and finished with a plum to the roof of the net. Fantastic score, huge lift to Mayo. Mayo have won the last four kickouts and they're moving forward at pace and uh, putting severe pressure on the Cork defence. Well, we might just, after all, have a game on our hands. It's back to a one-point match as Rory Hickey has gone right down to the far end of the field, down in front of Hill 16 to speak to his uh, umpires. But James Horan and James Nallan will have a much different perspective on this match now. Rocked by the concession of an early penalty, which was tucked away brilliantly by Dunico O'Connor. But that goal from Kevin McLaughlin, just Mayo's second goal in the championship, has got them right back in this match. Now, Donald Vaughan has been called across here by Rory Hickey. And for something that happened off the ball, he becomes the third Mayo player to be booked. Young man who was born in Canturk in County Cork. And he now will have to be very careful. But 23 and a half minutes gone, and this All-Ireland quarter-final, Paul, 
it's finally come to life. Absolutely, and uh, great credit to Mayo. They have responded magnificently to uh, Cork's early dominance and uh, they get, take huge confidence out of the fact that when they're winning ball in midfield, their forwards are doing well inside if they can get quick ball in. Seamus O'Shea again winning primary possession, but the ball ran loose, gobbled up by Killian O'Connor out there to help out his half forwards. This is Aidan O'Shea. Looks like he's made a trip to the Barber since the Connacht final. Slips into that tackle. Once more, he brought the ball into contact, and now away goes Noel O'Leary. Cork perhaps stung into action. Pierce O'Neill brilliantly flicked through. This is Fierke Lynch flicking it through. Kerrigan! It's in the net. Paul Kerrigan from Nemo Rangers has flicked in Cork's second goal. The perfect response from the All-Ireland champions. And again, it came from inexperience in the Mayo team. A fantastic finish here, by the way, from Kerrigan, just running across and just getting his hand to it. Wonderful finish, but Aidan O'Shea carried the ball into contact again, soloed three or four times on the 45-metre line, was dispossessed, and Cork, with the quality that they have, were able to counter-attack at pace and uh, finish with a great goal. Mayo have got to stop, to do, stop doing that if they're going to be competitive and win this game. Well, that's Paul Kerrigan's second goal of the championship. And it has rocked the Connacht champions, Mayo, right back in their heels again. And once more, they must uh, come out and play. But Cork there, at their very best, moving the ball at pace and power right down the middle. And a lovely, deft little finish by Paul Kerrigan. Alan O'Connor. Poor ball, easily cut out by Richie Feeney. And now Seamus O'Shea flicks it outside to his younger brother Aidan. Once more, he's brought that ball into the tackle. And that'll be a cork line ball. Well, the linesman has given the decision to Mayo on this occasion. Uh... Once more, Morris Condon uh, thinking on his feet there as Alan Dillon clips it through to his club mate in Ballantover, Killian O'Connor off to Andy Moore, nothing on to his first route, decides to kick from a standing position and that was beautifully done. Andy Moran's first point of this All-Ireland quarter-final, it's paired the gap back to three points again and he did really well. Excellently well, he can kick with both his left and his right and uh, but notice as well that Killian O'Connor has won three or four balls out in front of his, his marker and uh, it's Owen Cadigan who's marking him, by the way, and uh, Owen Cadigan's one of the tightest markers. Killian O'Connor, very, very young player, but excellent player, and uh, he's been involved in a lot of good things that Mayo have done. Noel O'Leary from Kilnamartra to Aidan Walsh from Canturk, and O'Leary sneaking forward to get involved in the move again. Little decoy run made by uh, Fiacre Lynch. Instead, Cork will hold possession and build patiently this time. Kassan to the goal scorer Paul Kerrigan. Quick change of direction to try and lose Keith Higgins. Then deliver the pass inside to Fintan Gould, who's brought Richie Feeney with him to that uh, left hand side. Gould involved again as Mayo drop 12 men back inside their own 45 metre line. Kerrigan beats the first tackle, taken down by a shoulder from Aidan O'Shea, and in the end, simply ran out of road. Mayo defending in numbers that time. 